Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. With no loading screen and no news about an upcoming promo in FIFA 23, could we be looking at the first non-promo Friday tomorrow in this year's FIFA Ultimate Team? We haven't had a promo Friday yet, or a promo-less Friday yet, should I say, but it looks like tomorrow might be our first one, and that's what I want to talk about and look at the market a lot today, because if there is going to be a dead Friday in terms of content, we might have some market moves that we could make, especially with some of these out of position cards today on Thursday with rivals rewards and marquee matchups pack supply. I also wanna take a look at the latest leaks and take a look at SBC fodder and what could happen if there is no promo this weekend, but also a couple SBCs potentially coming soon that could require some fodder. We're gonna take a look at the, all of that and of course, everything with the market that has been moving with the new team of the week with a couple really crazy boosts that they put out in there and some upgrades and some confirmed upgrades for Road to the Knockout and ones to watch cards that either happened yesterday or will be happening on Friday. So if you're excited for all that, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it and talk about what in the world EA is doing with content because this is the time of the year where we would expect this. And I mean, it's actually perfect timing because EA could quickly whip up a team of the group stage. Honestly, it might be too short of notice as the group stage games are literally ending today with the Europa League and the Conference League games being played. Final cards are gonna be upgraded from RTTK tomorrow. Your upgrades are all gonna go live tomorrow, but the final cards that are impacted by games are today. Um, but this would have been like the next promo on our minds that could have happened or maybe one of those World Cup promos, but it really seems like EA is trying to pull off and uh, hold back the World Cup hype until we get like right up into the start of the World Cup. I mean, we saw the deep dive yesterday. We talked about that a lot in yesterday's video in the past two videos. We even see now the deep dive and all of that stuff is like on the front screen of FIFA's and like EA, we always talk about this, right? When EA change on their Twitter profile, when they change their profile picture and their pinned tweet and the heading, like they're trying to hype something up and they've got the whole World Cup update stuff right now. Just little things like that we notice and we know make a difference in this game and how content goes. But uh, it just seems like either team of the group stage or maybe a World Cup promo would be next, but it also would make sense if EA was like, hey guys, we're not gonna release a promo this Friday, first Friday of the year with no promo. And in doing that, what they would do is actually help themselves build the hype. And we've talked about this before, but it would help them build the hype for the upcoming World Cup content, which they've already done a pretty good job of, in my opinion. A lot of people, including myself, are looking forward to this foot content in the World Cup and are really hyped for how sick it could be. Um, and we're excited for that. But before that happens, they want to make you crave it a lot. And I think that's what they're gonna do in the next couple of days where we are going to see maybe a promo list Friday. So that's kind of how things feel and how things honestly look content wise too without a loading screen that's kind of it's not a dead giveaway but with the way they've been doing things this year like we've said the wednesday loading screens are the key things to look out for to for them to tease a new and upcoming promo i mean technically there could be a loading screen today but there's no other leaks right and that's the thing if we're a day away from a promo and there's no leaks about it that would be shocking to me if we had a promo tomorrow with how things look right now so that's just something to keep in mind i'm not saying that a promo is out of the realm of possibility it could happen but i think it's not very likely to happen and since it's not very likely to happen, of course, depending on the content that we get today, I wanna to talk about a little bit of investment potential because what do we know when content is not good on this game? Cards go up as people still play weekend league, even though there may be a little bit less demand this weekend because of course the team of the week is not looking near as good and a lot of people are disappointed in how the team of the week looks compared to how it looked um, in previous weeks. Man, I almost bought Mane for 380 and this guy just bounced up to 420, frick. Anyways, this is the best player in Team of the Week by far this week. Ben Tencora got a big upgrade, but there's just not a lot to play for in this Team of the Week in terms of reds and rewards. If there's nothing in packs, people are gonna be saving their packs most likely for that World Cup drop of content anyways or for the next promo. So yes, there's gonna be weekend league demand, um, but since there's not gonna be as much promo demand, I do think there's a really good possibility for some of these out of position promo cards to rise up in price. It almost feels like the very same scenario that we had when the Rule Breakers promo started. I'm sure you guys remember what happened when Rule Breakers dropped. We had all the Road to the Knockout cards, albeit they were very hyped because they were live items. Um, and of course, 
they were really low heading into the Rule Breakers promo anyway, but these guys exploded in price on the Friday of the Rule Breakers promo. Now, is that exact same thing gonna happen with all of the out of position cards this week? I'm not saying that it is, all I'm saying is, watch how low these cards get today. This might be a nice little investment potential if you wanna try any of them out for your team. The cards that are the most, like, you know, in demand from this promo team, I would look at guys like Perisic, Reese James, Fred, Cancelo, Teo Hernandez, uh, Dumfries, Fofana, Berardi, Lucas Vasquez. Those guys that are in the most hype cards out of this promo squad, I think have potential to rise even in the next like three days over the weekend before any of the World Cup hype and stuff might be happening next week. I really do think that these cards have some bounce potential out of packs. But again, like I said, I want to see them drop a little bit more first. Reese James right now is actually kind of low, 149,000 coins. If you take a look at his graph over the past few days, you know, he's been as low as 155, as high as in the 160s. Yesterday on Wednesday, 148 bounced back to the 150s. So some of these guys are low-ish, but what I would want to see today is another like 5% drop or more with supply from rewards or maybe a little bit of panic selling before marquee matchups and the supply from that SBC today because we of course expect marquee matchups every single Thursday. Uh, and that to me would be a great opportunity to buy in on some of these cards. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking about making the investment myself um, and getting involved in some of these because if there's no new promo that comes out, what are people gonna do? They're gonna go back out and try some of these cards that are on the market and on the game that they haven't tried out yet. So even a guy like Ivan Perisic, who of course was 100,000 coins at his absolute lowest point and is now up 30K from that point, he's 139,000 coins. If Perisic drops down to like, 120 today, I'm in because this guy was 140 yesterday. He's got all the hype in the world, the five star weak foot, the four star skills. Everybody's using this card right now because it's got the hype and it's really, really good in game. That's the kind of stuff you want to be interested in. Don't sleep on a guy like Doom Freeze either with all the Serie A hype that we have at the moment. Um, Dufri's card is like one of the best Serie A center backs in the game. He's been like in the low to mid 80s. If this guy would dip below 80K today, that's a 5% drop, a 6% drop. I would be in on a card like this for a potential rise where he could go maybe to 100,000 coins even by like Saturday. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for because when we have slow content time on FIFA, the cards that go out of packs just rise because people want to try them out they want to use them and there's nothing new there for them to go and do even if there's hype of a world cup promo and stuff like that looming this weekend is too far ahead of time for there to be some true panic at least for the next two days like friday and into saturday i think the market will still do decently well unless ea drop a really big sbc tomorrow on a friday and, and use that as like a promo content type thing that'd be the only thing that i could really see impacting the market in a negative way over the next couple of days um, at this moment with the information that we have released and what, I don't expect anything else information wise to be like crazy leaked in the next couple of days either. We've got like all the information for the World Cup mode. Just the only thing we don't know is like, what will be the first promo uh, of the World Cup? Which of those promo cards that's been released um, is gonna be the one that's used. So that's kind of where I'm at with the market. I'm seriously eyeing a lot of these out of position cards as an investment. And I think it also would be a great time if you go out and just check the rest of the market, maybe if there's rule breakers that are low or RTTKs are a bit of an interesting one, of course, because we got upgrades for these cards coming on Friday tomorrow. But I'm just gonna say that if there's low cards on the market, I'd be a little, a little careful with heroes, right? Because you've got the Hero pack that is coming. Wow, Yaga Torre is down. I've 124. Is that a real price or is that an undercut? That's a real price. Interesting. So I, I did mention this in yesterday's video. People, of course, know that that World Cup hype really brings. Uh, wow, there's like a bunch of panic selling and rebounding on this Yaya right now. This is actually kind of crazy. So I think this is just the beginning of, again, what we talked about in yesterday's video, where people are maybe starting to sell some of these cards off because they're worried about that hero pack. Marquisio, 700K, like, yeah, he's down a lot too. He was in the high heaven 700s for a bit. So I would say if these rare hero cards are fluctuating a lot, like it looks like they are, that could be a great opportunity to trade with them as well. You're more expensive, you're more rare ones. Rudy Voler, how much are we looking? 594 for him, what was he? He was, okay, he hasn't dropped down that much, but that's the kind of stuff you could be looking for right now on the market. Uh, trading with the rare cards that are gonna fluctuate, and maybe investing in some of these cards that are about to go out of packs with the out of position promo. That's where I'd be looking on the market at the moment. We talked about that enough though. Let's look at SBC fodder because also 
We don't have a ton of fodder to man right now, but in the next two days, a player of the month Lewandowski and a brand new flashback Higuain have been leaked. Um, and I think one of these two is going to drop in the next two days. Higuain might be maybe a Friday content SBC, maybe a today content SBC, who knows, but I would expect it to be in the next couple of days. That If those are the stats, it says a prediction, but if he's anywhere near this kind of cracked, I really hope they give Higuain a dope card uh, to send him off in his uh, FIFA legacy because Higuain has been a, a pretty nice FIFA card, not the most meta, but a really nice card that usually gets a couple of specials every year that is just like fun to try out and fun to use and used to have some pretty insane links now he's in the mls so it maybe is not as good but i think in a cardi or sorry not a card that's who we had yesterday but the higuain uh love could be shown very nicely from ea sports with the w end of an air sbc i kind of hope that's today um uh, two back-to-back -back days of player sbcs doesn't happen that often in the week, but hey, who knows? So either this today and Lewandowski tomorrow on Friday, or maybe that could be swapped. Who knows? But I think a Lewandowski, of course, as we talked about in yesterday's video, is going to be coming pretty soon as well. And, uh, you know, that's a player of the month. So I think there would be tweets from the La Liga official uh, Twitter account. You'd see some information there like we usually do. But is that enough SBC content to make fodder move? Unless Higuain is dirt cheap and insanely upgraded, Skill move, weak foot upgrade, that sort of thing. I don't think it's going to make fodder move. You guys know what makes the SBC fodder move the most, and that is those icon hero 85 plus team of the week, the upgrade packs, right? The hype ones. That's what makes the fodder move. And right now, I wouldn't be expecting another one of those most likely until next Monday again um, for another coin drain opportunity before the World Cup mode. So if you bought fodder when it was low, keep holding because why not? These cards are really, really low anyways. If you bought fodder and you need the coins back, then maybe if one of those SBCs come out, fodder could go up a little bit and you could sell. Um, I just don't expect fodder to move that much because what demand are we going to have to make it go up? So if you bought some, keep holding. Again, your time will come. That's how it is with fodder. You buy, you wait, it goes up, you sell. That's the whole point. So keep holding on to this stuff for sure. Just again, it's unknown how long it might take until we see these cards arise a lot. Another thing I wanted to talk about really quick in the video is I saw some tweets um, earlier this evening uh, and it was on companion app. I didn't screenshot it myself and I should have, but it's actually on the EA like Trello board as well, where they post all their issues and they tweet it out from the uh, FIFA direct account pretty often. Uh, the players unable to list 30 items or more on the transfer market has been fixed. Uh, so check your web apps, check your companion apps, because now you should be able to list more than 30 items on the transfer market. That is nice. It took them a long time to fix that. Um, and evidently it was a mistake. So it wasn't on purpose. A lot of people just thought that, hey, this was on purpose because, uh, you know, it hasn't been fixed yet. And it's something that kind of limits trading and limits the market market a little bit. I think people were, you know, very, um, I don't know, speculative of that. But evidently that is not the case. And it was a bug and that bug has been patched. So there's that. Uh, so if you're a fodder trader slash investor, you are loving that for sure. Now, what I want to look at on the market are, are a couple of upgrades. I, of course, had the Richarlison once to watch upgrade that was up yesterday. Mane was up because he was in team of the week. He got a plus one. He's now 91 rated. So the Richarlison card looks nice, of course, in my squad. W, uh, Coys. And also Anthony. I, I sold my Anthony's in the hype. He went up like 5,000 coins or he's 308 right now, um, which is an 8,000 coin rise after... Uh, his upgrade but the upgrade for this card just looks okay and again it's right now this guy oh is he getting rare at the moment oh he just bounced up a bit kind of getting rare overnight 320 for anthony so he went up a little bit um i think he got like plus two or three pace plus three shooting three passing it was a decent upgrade nothing super crazy though uh and honestly just kind of average and i think that's why he is not exploding that much in price he still needs one more upgrade for this guy let's be honest this guy going to an 86 97 pace maybe 80 shooting and 80 passing would make him look a lot better from a face card stat uh wise than what he is right now so no complaints there just kind of okay of course as i mentioned we have the Acardi sbc and the objectives guys don't sleep on these really i, I know i'm going to mention this like every single week when they get dropped but do not sleep on these um sbcs and objectives the sbcs maybe you can skip out on if you don't want to turn in the fodder but 
they're out for like 80 days anyway so you might as well but this stuff is going to be very very helpful when we get icon swaps and maybe even for world cup swaps with some of the requirements that they could potentially have in there of course you think about normal icon swaps you think about some of those off leagues that have requirements for squad battles or for friendlies getting these objectives done if it's a slower week on fifa in the next couple of days work on these spend the extra time to get the games in play some squad battles i know it's kind of annoying but you'll be glad you did in a month's time or maybe even less when super league or efl or air Divisie or mls is required for icon swaps and you've got better players than what most people do in your club so i'm saying this and i'm probably gonna end up not doing these myself because i just don't like grinding this stuff but if you have the time and you want to do it i think it's a very very good use of your time uh, to get that stuff going. So also, I believe that the upgrade packs expire today. I did my 82 plus player pick on the phone. Didn't have any good luck with that. The 80 plus upgrade, basically your last day to try to pack out of position cards if you want to do that. And other than that, I think it's going to be a day where it, it might be kind of an L Wednesday unless we get the Higuain card or Lewandowski. It's probably just going to be tradable pack supply today with marquee matchups and then potentially a decent amount of people looking in to make an investment for the out of position promo cards. So again, I would say if there's a lot of people that are looking to invest in out of position promo cards, you're going to have to be a bit quick today because people are going to see these cards go down a little bit. That's what happens on these kind of non tent Fridays. Um, is people see that the prices are getting kind of low and they drop a little bit and then just people start to buy. So if Perisic, Perisic might not even go below uh, that target price I said at like 120K, if that's something that you wanted to buy, like he he seriously might not even go that low. 130 might be as low. We'll just have to see. But this is something we'll just monitor on the market today and keep an eye on because it just seems like a lot of people will want these cards for their teams. And if there's nothing else to do in FIFA in the next couple days, this will be the types of cards that end up rising in price on the market because of what's going on in the game. So that's kind of the video for your Thursday today. If EA surprises with the loading screen, then we'll have a lot to talk about tomorrow. But as of right now, not looking that likely for a promo Friday on FIFA 23. The first non 10 Friday of the year might be upon us. We'll check in on that tomorrow, of course. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant from London once again. Catch you later. Peace out.